What is up YouTube? I'm Devon DaVinci, leader of the Renaissance Crew, and you're watching DaVinci Reacts. Now, I'm going to be doing a continuation to my Mock the Week Too Hot for TV uh, video that I did a few days ago. Now, this is going to be another 10 minute video. This is part two. The first one should be in a card somewhere on this video. You should be able to see it probably over here, I think. <laughs> it should pop up over here somewhere. And it will go ahead and take you to the first video I did, and you can see the first 10 minutes of the reaction. Now, this video, hopefully it won't get blocked because this is a very uncut video. It's not necessarily, I thought it was a compilation when I first chose to react to it. It's not a compilation. It looks like it's just an entire episode of something. So uh, breaking it up into 10 minutes might help, but if in case it is blocked, if you, see if you see some edits or some stuff chopped out, then just know that's the reason. And if you want to see the original video, I will leave a link in the description box that you can go to and watch the original without any issues at all, without me pausing. Uh, you can watch the entire 40 minute video without having to wait for me to do another 10 minute video. But anyway, let's check this out. I'm in genuinely real trouble. <laughs> This is the no, sort of police force when we've come to expect. Oh, really help me, Lenny. So, Russell. The youngest Russell. Russell, you're, 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 you're that's totally totally 10, uh, 15 years fitter than any of us here. Yeah. And you're the one whose legs have both fallen asleep from sitting in a chair. He had, he had pins and needles you in his legs in the last video. You might show Hugh's arsehole prolapse. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, whoa, whoa. We're going to go back on that one. What the fuck did Frankie just say? <laughs> years fitter than any of us here yeah. and you're the one whose legs have both fallen asleep from sitting in a chair <laughs> if you are like this now by the end of the show hugh's arse will prolapse <laughs> well damn I've learned about you tonight russell are that you watch brokeback mountain with your dad yeah. and you've got <laughs> vicious pins and needles <laughs> you're not going to get the job for news night are you <laughs> minister you said this but on the oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's just be over for a second. Why, Why what? This yeah. week? Oh, God, you're right. You're yeah, no, I've got a hey, small fella down there who's just giving me a massage. Yeah. Cheers, right? <laughs> okay. Would it be your dad? I wish I knew how to It was your dad. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, I'm in question. real trouble when I get home. Yes. <laughs> oh, <he'll... laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why was a former army poster boy in the news this week? Oh, this is great. Uh, he, he is addicted to going to gardens and looking at ladies as they get undressed at night. And you find yourself going, get a webcam. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot easier. You'll catch cold. Yeah, but it's the difference between like, uh, listening to a CD and... That's funny. This was back when if you wanted to see naked people on the internet and didn't want to take forever to wait for videos to load, you like got a webcam and joined one of those chat sites now that was before my time i'm glad to be in a generation that can get my porn the old-fashioned way which or not the old-fashioned way the right way which is through bandwidth and video sharing sites perfect the world is the world is amazing now the fact that i can do that <laughs> is is amazing i feel sorry for the people that were born before me yeah, but it's the difference between like uh, listening to a CD and, and listening to a band live. You know, live is just much more exciting. He, he, they said that he was the, one of the best e exemplary army cadets or whatever that they ever had. How good were you in the army if you can't go into a student's garden <laughs> and peep without getting caught? <laughs> well, the way it's true. The finest camouflage training, night. Absolutely. Well, no, it's, it's a lot simpler. You just make sure you've got like a red hat, fake beard, always carry a fishing rod. As soon as she yeah. looks at you, kneel down, you're a nun. <laughs> I have a feeling you're giving away a little more than you wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> that gnome's got really big eyes. <laughs> Enormous erection. <laughs> Is that a fishing rod at all? <laughs> Is that a fishing rod at all? But he used to be in the, yeah. he used to be in the recruitment uh, adverts as well, didn't he? He was, yeah. He was so, using a series of television companies. But it'd be really great if there was oh, a, a, a hidden recruiter. one that no one saw. It's like, right, right, left, left, kill the lights. That's the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Your vest, take off your vest. <laughs> uh, what are those like? Can you see the girl? Can you see the girl? Is that nice? the British can you see military the motto? From a tree? <laughs> if you want to know to <laughs> these questions, that's I the British motto. Thing, I just tell you, 
be, the, be your best, Chinese take off your New vest. Year in Leicester Square, and it said uh, the red arrows are coming along, right? So we hung around, what? and it's just the blokes, not the plates. <laughs> And then they're not even wearing their outfits. <laughs> I'm pissed off. <laughs> when they walking in formation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No smoke coming no out smoke. of their arses, nothing. <laughs> One army that was in the news, of course, this week oh, yeah? was the, the Barmy Army, mm -hmm. which is a bit of a leap, I know. But the, uh, but the Australian fans were warned this week about their behaviour towards them. It was the <clears> Premier <throat> of New South Wales, a guy called Morris Iema who uh, asked Tony Blair to uh, identify hooligans, because cricket hooligans are all the rage, apparently. Oh, they're dangerous. Yeah, they're yeah, the worst kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're going to spend two and a half thousand pounds and then travel 25 hours to the other side of the world to really kick off. They're all posh, aren't they? Exactly. You know, there's none of this, who are ya? Who are ya? It's more, you are whom? <laughs> 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 well, you can imagine, you can imagine them with the Aussie, just, that's not a knife, it is. It's a cheese knife. It'll make light work yeah. of this brie. <laughs> <laughs> I love the English fans and the Barmy Army. I, so I watched the Rugby World Cup final in um, Newcastle upon Tyne, <laughs> a place called Bar Oz, and I thought I was going to be safe, and there were like five Aussies in the corner, and there were 500 English. <laughs> and borderline racist, almost violent chanting, but very funny. Yeah. Five Aussies, 500 English. Just, we get free dollars to the pound. We get <laughs> When you're heckling the exchange rate, that is inventive. <laughs> <laughs> we were very excited, though, weren't we, by the, the old Rugby World Cup? You know, because obviously the England rugby team, we, we've won very little since, but we were thinking, weren't we, we were making, thinking of making rugby our national sport ahead of soccer until we realised that only eight countries in the world give a monkeys about rugby, <laughs> and four of them are us. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Barmy Army, it just, it just doesn't sound scary, does it? It's like some of the football hooligan groups, you've got like Psycho City, Tongmore Slashers. There's one called the Chesterfield Bastard Squad. How funny is that? I really yeah. want to join, but I know who my dad is. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what he likes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it all comes full circle. <laughs> the, uh, the Australian fans though, have been instructed specifically to watch their language, haven't they? They have, we're not allowed to, we're allowed to call you, uh, you, you sorry. No, you can call we're me Paddy call or you. Mick, is what you're allowed to call me. <laughs> and even then I'll not take to it well. <laughs> <laughs> we're allowed to call the English, uh, Poms. That's okay. That's okay. We can't say, Pommy Bastard. <laughs> right, <'cause laughs> the Pommy's all right, but if you call, yeah, okay. So you're allowed to just plain bastard. Yeah. <laughs> See, I didn't realize that Pommy was a thing. Like, uh, he said Pom, I thought he was talking about, like, cheerleading pom-poms like i guess they get rowdy and they cheer a lot and you know women but uh, i don't know what parmy is somebody would have to give me the context for what that is i mean i would imagine parmy is like a descriptive word and bastard so it's like saying smarmy bastard or slimy bastard or something like that like parmy is probably another word something similar to that that's it off the top of my head though i am i have no idea what the fuck i'm talking about Go back a little bit. Tommy's all right, but if you call, yeah, okay. So yeah, the just plain bastard. Yeah, <laughs> miss out, just miss out upon bit. That works so. too. Yeah, that'll be fine. Right. Right. Because it's not racist. It's all but but it's just calling someone a bastard. Yeah. <laughs> We've never tried this in Scotland, really. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean there are worse words than cunt? <laughs> <laughs> Just, just clear, you know, I'm just giving a bit of a gap there because you know I, you can enjoy that in the studio. That's never fucking going out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pause it one more time. Um, by the way, if you want to watch this without me pausing it, watch the original link. God damn it. But um, yeah, it's funny. The word, well, damn. If I say it, I might get demonetized. Well, I will go ahead and just you know give you a hint of what I'm going to say, just to be on the safe side. It's funny because the c word. If, well, what the fuck am I talking about? I'm not going to get monetized anyway. This is going to get claimed. Cunt. <laughs> so the word cut, it's funny because depending on where you say it in the world, it's either the most offensive thing anybody's ever heard or it's like a greeting. It's y'all, everybody talks about America for being like a part of the imperial system while everybody else has the metric system. Well, y'all are the only ones that don't take offense to that word. And now 
I can hold that against y'all because y'all are the ones going against the grain and being against everybody else in the world when it comes to that. So anybody, anytime somebody that, uh, first of all, Americans, if you're watching this, anybody comes out and says something about uh, the imperial system, makes a joke about the imperial system, pull it, put the word cut out your ass and use it against them. See, see, use that against them. They won't take offense to it, but just know that they're the only ones that won't be in on the fact that they just should be offended. Everybody else will be, will get the proper context from it. America wins, always. <laughs> just, we should clear, you know, I'm just giving a bit of a gap there because you, know, I, you can enjoy that in the studio. That's never fucking going out. <laughs> so, which point, let's draw into that round. The winners there where, let's give it to Frankie Hugh Adams. <laughs> Frankie looks like he does not give a damn. The next round is called Between the Lines and it features Hugh and Frankie. If you could make your way to the press pit, please. Thank you. In this round, one of them takes on the role of a person in the news addressing the media while the other translates what they really mean. Frankie, you are Conservative Party leader David Cameron making a speech. Hugh, you will tell us what he really means. I am here to launch the Conservative Party manifesto, which is substantial. A child's drawing of an oak tree. <laughs> and 300 blank pages. <laughs> First, let me refute a rumor. People say that I am posh. I am not. And you can ask my footman. Don't know what a footman is. I believe that politics should be about more than style over substance. <laughs> Gives a little creepy smile. Admittedly, admittedly, I did go to boarding school. I was briefly gay. <laughs> Damn. But Eton is UK a school not fond with great tradition. Boarding schools. The weakest child in every year is sacrificed in the school pyramid <laughs> to appease the god. Imhotep. <laughs> the world needs to form a coherent plan to deal with global warming. I've got a little windmill on my roof. <laughs> I want to reach out to ethnic minorities in Britain. Give them a fiver and say, would you do my garden? Damn. <laughs> Now we play a round called Dara's News Laughter Fun Dial. This game <laughs> involves Adam, Andy, Frankie and Russell. So if you could make your way over yonder to the performance area, thank you very much. It's a stand-up challenge. Our random news generator contains a bank of topics. We spin the wheel and when it's stopped, anyone can step forward and try to make us laugh about the subject is landed uh, this on. This is the one I'm mostly familiar with, this to be able to format. Walk like a human being. Uh, <laughs> on that skip or counter or, yeah. Here we Just go. Put your foot out. Stretch it. Stretch it. Oh. Stretch it. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> that should do it. Yeah. yeah. That's all right. Thank you. Hey, um, no, I don't want to watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to suggest a camping trip. Yeah. <laughs> well, to be honest, if I ever get famous, this photo is going to get taken and there's going to be a caption near it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man gets bummed by ghosts while two people help. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick it up from where I left it there. Let's spin the wheel. Okay, the topic is air travel. Who wants to come in on that? I'll do that. Russell. <laughs> My favourite story about air travel, there was a bloke a little while ago who got put in prison for three days because he refused to stop kissing his boyfriend on a plane flight to South Africa. How magic's that? You can't help but picture him dressed in tiny latex, you know? <laughs> Surrounded by a sea of Burberry on an easy jet flight. All right, lads, I'm gonna make this tense for you. Ramon, let's do the bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you wanna stop doing that? I'm trying to read Nuts magazine! Whatever. <laughs> stop doing that, it's not natural! You're flying. <laughs> 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 okay, let's spin the wheel again. Yeah. You're eating an Listen, animal you didn't George kill w. yourself. Bush, who wants to come in? Oh, yes, please. Adam. <laughs> I think the biggest mistake George W. Bush made in his presidency was the way he dealt with the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. Because seriously, that should have been easy. All he had to do was go to New Orleans, look like he was helping out, people would have loved him. 
and he still screwed that up. <laughs> and whether or not you like Bill Clinton, I reckon Clinton would have known what to do in that time of crisis, because Clinton could spin public image. He could make himself look good when it counted. Three days after the hurricane hit, George W. was still watching television. <laughs> Storm, should I do something about this? <laughs> Clinton had been in charge. He'd have been standing on the New Orleans docks the day the hurricane hit with a camera crew behind him, his pants around his ankles going, Hey, Katrina, blow this. <laughs> 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 Okay, <laughs> I'm happy to do the next topic, please. All right, I'll go the next ahead and topic is religion. <laughs> and these steps to the mic. Muslims do take their religion very seriously, I think at least in part because they have to pray five times a day. Anything you've got to do five times a day, you tend to take pretty seriously. <laughs> we are all supposed to eat five fruit and veg every day. <laughs> now, we struggle to do that, don't we? Now imagine you had to eat those five fruit and veg at set times every day when some bloke up a tower started wailing fruit and veg at you. <laughs> <laughs> at which point you had to start reciting various passages from Delia Smith's healthy cookbook whilst pointing in the direction of Norwich. <laughs> So let's see what's left there for Frankie. What's the next topic? And the topic is sport. Final. I could end it right here, couldn't I? I could end the video right now and just leave the Frankie stuff for the next video, but I'm not. Uh, I'll be a, I'll be a good sport. <laughs> and the topic is sport. Apparently, uh, Scotland games now at Hamden. They've actually banned food from the ground and they search you when you're going in to make sure that you've not got food on you. Nice to see that we've got our priorities right, isn't it? <laughs> What's this sort of knife? I hope you weren't planning on making sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> now, a uh, Scottish guy is the number one British tennis player. I've not checked my Nostradamus, but isn't that one of the harbingers of the apocalypse? <laughs> the only time I'd previously seen a Scottish guy playing tennis, it was someone playing charades attempting to mime the word homosexual. <laughs> okay, I will go ahead and stop it right here, right on the 23 minute mark. So if you want to follow along with me, uh, like I said, the link is in the description box down below. It has the entire 42 minute video. You can uh, start at the 23 minute mark because that's where I left off. Uh, if you want to see the my reaction to the previous 10 minutes, like I said, there's a button up there that you can click button up there you can click on and it stays up there so even if the little wording disappears you click up there it'll still pop up so you're not missing anything but anyway I have two more reactions to this I believe yeah about two more reactions to this clip and then I will move on to something else I know a lot of people have wanted me to do reactions to other comedians in this uh, show besides uh, Frankie Boyle and I will in fact do that. I believe I actually have a reaction to the person on the screen right now, or if the screen did disappear, the last person that was shown on screen, I have a reaction to them already. And I, well, just leave the names of the other people and I will go ahead and do a reaction to them as well. Well, I'll take that back. Don't leave a name for everybody. Leave a name for the people you think are worthy of a reaction. And I know I'm not trying to I'm not trying to put myself above anybody. It's just that if they're entertaining, you guys will want to watch it. If they're not entertaining, then chances are you don't really give a damn. So leave the link or leave a name for the people that are the most entertaining to you, your favorites, and I will go ahead and do a reaction to them. Depending on based on who gets the most uh, up votes. <laughs> anyway, I'm Devon Da Vinci. You just been a little bit more enlightened. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. I will go ahead and move on to another video. But until then, I will see you guys later. Deuces.